All right, Tang Titers, day three, you knew push-ups were coming next. So day three is gonna be 100 rep push-ups. We're gonna max out 100 reps, intermediate advance. I want you doing this in one setting, break it up into tens if you need to. Do tens, shake your arms out, do 10 more, get all the way up to 100. Beginners, I want you to try and do as many as you can in one setting, and if not, just space it out along the day. So you might go take the kids to daycare, come home, take your shoes off, pump out 10, 20 push-ups, rest, go sit on the couch, you get the gist. I want you just incorporating it into your entire work day, school day, girls, guys, whoever, get the 100 reps in. So make sure that you warm up and let's get into it. All right, when doing push-ups, I want your hands directly under your shoulders, so we're not doing wide push-ups, we're just gonna be doing regular push-ups, 100 reps. So your hands need to be under your shoulders, you're gonna extend your feet, all the way back so this is a plank and when you're in a plank you can know it get it tight so you need to be extremely tight when I say tight your core you need to be squeezing you should feel rock solid abs right now just holding yourself up okay when doing a push-up I want your body don't keep your butt up here don't keep it sunken down you need to be in a straight line your feet need to be together or they can be slightly apart different variations I'm gonna keep mine together and when you're gonna go down on a push-up, you have to breathe and try and keep your head kind of neutral. Try not to tuck it down too much. And you don't need to be looking up because when you look up, you already see my lower end already went down. All right, so push up, go down and come up. That's gonna be a push-up. So roll time, intermediate advance. They're gonna look like this when you push it out. Okay, beginners. Put your knees on the mat. You can keep your feet crossed or you can lay them down on the ground. Your arms still need to be under your shoulders. You're gonna go down in a push up, come up and breathe. So don't try not to sink your butt down still. Don't, don't do that. Try and keep it kind of neutral in the air. Shake it if you want to. All right, so go down in a push up and then come back up. If it's still too challenging, walk them in closer. Walk your arms in closer feet can stay the same. I actually have my knees together, but if you want to, you can put them out a little bit, maybe still under your shoulders. All right, so I walk my hands in. I'm gonna do baby push-ups that are gonna look like this. So the purpose of this, push-ups, all variations, you're working the front of your body to strengthen your chest. Girls, yes, you do need to strengthen your chest just because we're not a man, we don't need to get big bulky chest, no, but you still need to have a strong chest, all right? And <clears throat> you're also going to be strengthening your arms, biceps as well, your biceps, because when you go down, you're using your body to push yourself back up, your shoulders, you're using your core because you're tightening your body the entire exercise to push out those reps, all right? So keep everything tight, and those are going to be the 100 rep push ups. Titers, that was day three push-ups. I hope you maxed out, did all the reps, beginners, intermediates, and advancing titers. I hope you got it in. Your arms probably feel like jello right now. So you can just kind of wobble it out, okay? Get it loose. Again, you can kind of open up your body. You can do this motion to kind of stretch the front of your body. All right. All right, so make sure that you cool down, drink lots of water, and get ready for day four because it's coming.